Matthew. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. Neither in this world, neither in the world to come. This is the passage on the unpardonable sin. It's discussed, it's many opinions. But let's see what the Bible says about the unpardonable sin. And the unpardonable sin is an act against the Holy Ghost. It's not an act against the Son of Man, verse 32, against the Holy Ghost. And this is a sin that will not ever be forgiven. And I'm here to tell you that the unpardonable sin cannot and will not be done during the church age. It's already been done, and you can't do it today. And let's go back to the scriptures, verse 28. But if I cast out devils, that's what Jesus has been doing, by the Spirit of God, that's the Holy Spirit, then the kingdom is come upon you. So Jesus says, I am casting out devils by the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit. When I call out of a human being a devil, that power, Jesus is saying, comes from the Holy Ghost. In verse 22, then was brought unto him one possessed with a the devil. There it is. And he healed them. And the people were amazed. And the Pharisees, verse 24. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow, Jesus, does not cast out devils. It's not Jesus that's doing it. But by Beelzebub. The prince of the devils, the lord of the flies, Satan himself. <clears throat> what the Pharisees said, it's not Jesus doing it. And Jesus said, it's not him doing it. It's the Holy Spirit doing it. So Jesus gives credit to the Holy Spirit. The Pharisees give credit to Beelzebub, the lord of the flies, the devil. So he, this fellow does not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devil. So the devils are listening to the devils. And then Jesus gives them a rebuke about Satan and his kingdom being divided. How Satan cannot divide against his own. <coughs> Excuse me. In verse 26, if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? So it's not Satan. Jesus says, nope, you guys are wrong. Saying that Beelzebub is Satan. Verse 28, but if I cast out devils, which he did, and he's doing, by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Verse 31, Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, run back up to verse 28. What's the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost? That Jesus is casting out the devils by the Holy Spirit. And the blasphemy and the sin, run back to verse 24. This fellow does not cast out devils. But by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils, what they're doing is they are calling the Holy Spirit Satan, the devil. Beelzebub. And that the work of the Holy Ghost, the third member of the Trinity, is satanic. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy, the Holy Spirit is 
Beelzebub. That's what they're saying. Against the Holy Ghost, who they say is Beelzebub, doing the work of casting out devils. Jesus said the work of casting out the devils is the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. The Pharisees said it's Beelzebub. Shall not be forgiven unto men. So what the Pharisees and the people are, are saying, the third member of the Trinity is the work of the devil. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, and they've been speaking all kinds, man, they've been put up, uh, look at chapter 12, verse 14. Then the Pharisees went out and held counsel against him, Jesus, how they might destroy him. They are plotting to kill Jesus Christ now in chapter 12. And Jesus says, listen, that could be forgiving you. But when you call the work of the Holy Spirit, Beelzebub, Satan, verse 20. You see, again, look, look. For the fellow does not cast out devils, not the work of Jesus, but by Beelzebub are those devils coming out, the prince of the devils. Jesus says in, in 26, Beelzebub is Satan. In 28, he's saying that he's casting out devils by the by the Spirit of God. 31, he's saying, if you blaspheme the Holy Ghost, which is doing the, the work of casting out devils, verse 28, whom they are calling the devil, verse 24, it shall not be forgiven you, though you are plotting to kill Jesus, in verse 14. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, whatever you say against Jesus, <clears throat> it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, what's speaking against the Holy Ghost? Verse 24, this fellow, Jesus, does not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. Jesus, the, that devil you just cast out, you did that by the work of Satan. <clears throat> or Beelzebub, Satan says Beelzebub is Satan, verse uh, 26. Beelzebub and Satan are the same. So the Pharisees are saying the power of Jesus to cast out devils is Satan. And Jesus says in verse 28, but if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, so the unpardonable sin is when Jesus is casting out devils and you say that he is doing it because Satan's allowing him to do it or Satan is giving him the power to do it, that's the unpardonable sin. And let me ask you a question. Today is February 18, 2021. When was the last time Jesus cast out a devil? He's not going to. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father. So the unpardonable sin can only be committed during the earthly ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ as he's going about giving eyes to the blind, giving ears to the, to the deaf. Having the main become unmain. And as he's casting out the devils, he's doing it in the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. And the unpardonable sin is that the Pharisees and probably others are saying, when, when the devils cast out a person, well, that's Beelzebub. And, Satan said, uh, and Jesus says, that's not only Beelzebub, but that is Satan. And you are crediting the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. You are crediting what the Holy Spirit is doing in me, Jesus, to the power of Satan. That is the unpardonable sin, and you'll never be forgiven for that. That's what the unpardonable sin is. And you don't know you don't need no Hebrew or Greek or anything. Now watch. 
Now we'll go over to Mark chapter 3. Mark chapter 3, and it, it comes, you can't miss it unless you're a scholar. <clears throat> In Mark chapter 3, we'll read the whole thing. 22. And the scribes, which came down from Jerusalem, said he hath Beelzebub. Matthew said it was a Pharisee. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Scribe in Pharisees. By the prince of the devils, cast out devils. Satan. Ugh, very good, my boy. So there were people in the life of Jesus, the earthly ministry of Jesus, when he was healing people of devils. They were not giving God the credit or the Holy Spirit the credit of, 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 the, of Jesus healing the, the people being possessed with devils. They were giving the credit to Satan or Beelzebub, the Lord of the flies. And he called unto him, he, Jesus called unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan, Beelzebub, cast out Satan? If his kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Now he's, he's talking about Satan. They just called the work of Jesus Beelzebub. Jesus goes not into Beelzebub, he goes into Satan. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. If Satan rises up against himself, if Satan rises up against devils in a, in a human body, <clears throat> Excuse me. If Satan uses the power to take devils out of humans, if Satan rises up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, he hath an end. So when Jesus, who just healed a man of devils, it's not Satan that took the devils out. And we read in Matthew that it is Jesus and the power of God through the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> no man can enter in strong man's house. That strong man is Satan. And spoil his good, Satan's good. Except he first bind the strong man. Satan will be bound for a thousand years. And then he will spoil his house. The third. <laughs> Very I say unto you, all sin shall be forgiven unto the sons of men. <clears throat> Excuse me. And blasphemies within soever, they shall blaspheme. Whatever you blaspheme, whatever is sin, will be forgiven. There is no sin that man can do that God cannot forgive you. <clears throat> there's, there's never a person who's going to come to Calvary and say, Lord, I've sinned this sin, and Jesus, oh, go away, can't, no, that's, that's filthy, that is, but get, get away, no, that's never going to happen, never, absolutely not, ever going to happen, so let's read on, but, you got to pay attention to Bible but, he that shall blast me against the Holy Ghost, Will you read that with Matthew chapter 12? Jesus said, I cast out devils by the Spirit of God. <clears throat> they are saying Beelzebub. And Jesus tells us what Beelzebub is. Beelzebub is Satan. So the scribes and the Pharisees and some of the people are saying, yeah, that, that, that healing of that devil that Jesus did. It wasn't Jesus. It was Beelzebub. And Beelzebub is Satan. And Jesus rebukes him to say, who has a blasphemy against the Holy Ghost? <clears throat> How did they blaspheme the Holy Ghost? Verse 22. He has Beelzebub. And by the prince of the devils cast he out devils. That's the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. And that can only be done on Jesus' earthly ministry of three, thir 33 and a half years he lived. The three and a half years of the earthly ministry that he had. 
He began at 30. He died about 33 and a half. The three and a half years of the ministry of Jesus Christ on the earth, the blasphemy of the impartable sin is whenever Jesus had a devil come out of a human or devil, some of the people that witnessed it, some of the people that heard it in the news in, in the new in, in the Jerusalem Times, some people who put the television news on, when they heard that Jesus is here and he healed another person of devils, they would sit there with their cup of coffee and say, He did that by the devil. Beelzebub. That is the unpardonable sin, and that cannot be done today. You don't need to worry about the unpardonable sin. Let's read on. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, saying that Jesus is doing his work, any work that he's doing, he's doing it by the devil, when in reality he's the Holy Ghost. Never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Reason. Because they said, they said, he, Jesus, has an unclean spirit. Run that, black, that unclean spirit back to verse 22. He hath Beelzebub. <coughs> I apologize. By the prince of the devils, casteth he out devils. So what they're saying about Jesus and the work of the Holy Spirit is that Jesus is being empowered by the devil. And reality, it is the Holy Spirit, not the devil. And just looking over here in Luke, see if we want to go to Luke. <clears throat> Again, we just look at Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11, verse 14. And it says, he's casting out devils, verse 15. But some of them said, not all, some said, he, Jesus, casted out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. There's Satan. Verse 18, he tells us who Beelzebub is. Satan. Look at verse 20. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, that finger of God in Mark, that finger of God in Matthew is not the devil, it is the Holy Ghost. So when they say Beelzebub is giving Jesus the power over devils, Jesus said it is the Spirit of God. I want to see how he worded it in Mark. I'm going to go back to Mark. <clears throat> Mark 12.22. So... So in Mark, what we read, I lost my place. I apologize. Matthew 12, we read about this Holy Spirit. Matthew 12, let's look at it. Matthew 12, he says in verse 28. The Spirit of God, Matthew 12, 
Let's just go over there, Matthew 12. I want you to see this. Matthew 12, 28. I'm going to highlight it. Okay. The Spirit of God. When Jesus is casting out devils, he's doing it by the Spirit of God. There it is. Matthew 12, 28. Okay. Mark 3. Mark 3. Mark chapter 3. And we want Mark chapter 3, verse number 29. 3.29. But if he blasts me against the Holy Ghost, see that? The Spirit of God, Matthew, Mark chapter 3, the Holy Ghost. And it says, because... He has an unclean spirit. That unclean spirit is Beelzebub. In reality, what Jesus has is the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. And then we go back over to Luke chapter 11 again. Let's lay this all out. <clears throat> Luke chapter 11. I'm, tr I'm going in my Bible so you see me using my Bible. I don't want you to think I'm used, I'm being lazy and using the computer screen. And Luke chapter 11, verse 14. And when we get down to, we want the finger of God. Where was that? 20. The finger of God. See that? <clears throat> The Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, and the finger of God. That's how Jesus is casting out the devil. What are some of the people saying? He's doing it by Beelzebub. Who is Beelzebub? Jesus says it's Satan. What is the impartable sin? All right, here's Jesus, and he's on his earthly ministry. Here's a person, male, man or female. And they got devils in them. And Jesus tells those devils to come out of them. And they obey Jesus and they come out. And the people around and the people here, the new, Beelzebub did that. And Jesus said, no, 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 you're not saying Beelzebub, you're saying Satan. And by you saying the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the finger of God, the power of the Spirit of God, you are saying it is Satan. That is the unpardonable sin. And that sin of the unpardonable sin died when Jesus ascended back into heaven in Acts chapter 1. You need not to fear the unpardonable sin. Because Jesus is not going to come walking around healing devils. Not in 2021, 2022, 2023, and so on. So that is all the unpardonable sin. When the people in the time of Jesus' earthly ministry saw him cast out devils, <clears throat> and reality they're saying, Satan did it. Though they're saying Beelzebub. That is the unpardonable sin. And we cannot do that in the church age. And we did no Hebrew and Greek. We looked at the passages. 